Hi, my name is Chong Wen Hui. So before we know about the wireline formation test, we have to understand about the drill stem test, which is known as DST in short. So a DST is basically a procedure for isolating and testing the pressure, vulnerability, and productive capacity of a geological formation during the drilling of a well. So DST is also an important measurement of pressure behavior, which we use to estimate the reservoir pressure at the drill stem. It is also a valuable way of obtaining information on formation fluid and establishing whether a well has found a commercial hydrocarbon reservoir. In this case, we use this information to identify the reservoir fluids and also estimate the well potential. So DSD can be run in both open and case holes with single or dual packer, which will be further discussed later on. So the objectives of DSD can be this, uh, is the following. The, uh, DSD can be used to identify the reservoir fluid, indicate the well productivity, and also the pressure transient data for permeability, skin factor, and static reservoir pressure. So we can estimate all these data and analyze them just like using semi-log plot, pressure and derivative type curves just like any other transient test. So uh, pass the next part to Suhiza to further explain about DST. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Suhiza. So I'm going to explain about DST. So thank you for Chung for the early presentation. So now uh, I'm going to present to you about the procedure uh, for drill stem test. So during the normal uh, well drilling, the mud is pumped into the well wall and uh, to clear the drill bit and to uh, to make a entrance between the annulus. So in this test, the drill bit is first removed and replaced with the tool that are uh, going to use for DST and devices are inflated above and below the section that we are going to test then and those devices are known as packers and it is used to make a seal between the borehole wall and the drill pipe isolating the region of interest and then the valve is opened to reduce the pressure in the drill stem the drill stem to surface pressure causing the fluid flow out of the pack of formation and up the surface then uh, DST can be performed with other exploration and completion process uh, such as uh, fluid, flow, uh, fluid loss control, uh, well control, close, uh, close chamber test, uh, well stimulation and a combination of DST and DSP. Then uh, DST can be applied uh, into two uh, types of, of hole. First is a case hole and case hole is uh, when a DST is performed after the well is cased and a, a, retrie a retrievable production packer is set above the zone of interest. So the well is flow tested through perforations in the casing. And the case hole, uh, hole testing could be pressure operated or mechanically operated. Then the second um, situation where can we use the DST is in the open hole. It is performed be uh, before the casing is run. So this is the most eco eco economically way to determine productive capacity, pressure, capability or the extent of a hydrocarbon reservoir. Testing equipment is run into the well and the zone of interest is uh, isolated using inflate or compression set records. So that's all for my, uh, for my part. So I will invite Ali to remind for my presentation. Hi, okay, uh, thank you for Suliza from Fai. Uh, my name is Azmin Bin Sudirman, and now I will uh, explain to you about the wire line formation test. So, as you can see, this is the wire line formation test. I will roughly explain about you. So, wire line formation test is used as a quick and inexpensive alternative of the ST test, which is the drill stem test. Okay. Next part, the radius of investigation is usually smaller smaller than the conventional well test and the STs which is within uh, tens of feet radially and particularly along the way. Okay, moving on. So the wireline formation tester is a tool that runs on an electric logging cable during logging activity and is primarily used 
to obtain permission pressure at the chosen location. Okay, that is the rough facts about wireline information test. Now, moving on to the objectives of wireline information test. Okay, there are couples of objectives of the wireline information test. As we can see, we can list it down over here. Wireline information test are conducted to first one determine pressure variance among various formation. Next, obtain fluid pressure gradient and fluid content indication. After that, we can obtain the formation fluid samples and pressure profiling along the well wall to determine the fluid context, which is the GOC and WOC, gas oil contact and water oil contact. After that, we can determine horizontal and vertical permeability and their distributions along the formation. Then, we determine permeability barriers and high permeability strips. And the last one is we conduct control local production and vertical interference at distinct points along the way. That's all from me. Hi. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Afiq bin Rosnan and I'll be explaining about the procedure for wireline formation tests. The wireline formation pressure measurement is required by inserting a probe into the borehole wall and performing a mini drawdown and build up by withdrawing a small amount of formation fluid and then waiting for the pressure to build up to the formation pore pressure. First, the pressure is observed to drop and stabilize during the first pretest, which is a drawdown, and continue to drop during the second pretest. The flow stops and pressure builds up to formation pressure when the second pretest is completed. Actual formation pressure can be taken when the pressure becomes stable or estimated from the build up characteristic when the tool is retracted before pressure stabilization. Uh, moving on. From the objectives, we will be focusing on fluid sampling in this case. Sample of formation fluid can be taken from analysis when the fluid fills the pretest chamber up to 10 gallon or more. The proper analysis involves discriminating the filtrate from the invaded zone from the native <coughs> formation fluids. The measurements of water resistivity, API gravity, and gas to oil ratio and water chemistry can then be performed. The formation fluid samples should be maintained at formation pressure. Thank you. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Marcel and I will be talking about applications. So, although formation testers can take samples, they are often used to obtain the pressure information available from the reservoir. So, this is achieved by putting the testers in different depth intervals across the reservoir. So from this test, we can uh, determine the degree of the overbalance, which is the difference between the mud and formation pressures. The fluid gradients uh, can also be obtained from this test, uh, and the gas column is uh, readily distinguishable from the oil, and also the oil can be distinguishable from the water. The location of the gas water and the oil water contact is, can also be determined. After a reservoir has been produced, uh, there are some pressure decline and uh, can be expected. Uh, so the formation testers are frequently run uh, in the development or in field wells. When compared to the initial formation pressures, pressure profile in the, these wells can often show certain zones that may have produced uh, more, more oil than the neighboring zones. Thereby, this indicates the presence of permeability barriers. And lastly, the pressures in zones of injections can also be monitored using the formation tester. So, that's all from us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Scott. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.